Guys, do you know what I'm doing right now? Do you know what I'm doing right now? It is literally the beginning of my new life. Do you see this? What is this? So uh, right now I'm on my way home because I need to get ready before going to the salon to get my hair done because I need to do that before I get my photo taken for my UK visa. So that is what I'm doing and I just came from getting my vaccine done. So y'all, if you see me mutating within the next few days. So that's what I'm doing. I actually, actually didn't know what I was going to do with my hair and I was debating for a while. I wanted to get it straightened but then I was like, Really? Getting your hair straightened for a UK visa? Mm, talk about conforming to society standards and the white man's country. Cause I don't wanna be black, I wanna be white. Whoa! Yeah, uh, also I think I'm just not gonna do that because my head is just gonna look flat. So I'm getting it blown out. And then I'm gonna do a puff. I mean, y'all are gonna see. Y'all are gonna see what it looks like. I'm here with Gang Gang Joelle. I'm just glad that I'm getting everything sorted now because I was meant to be leaving in three days. Obviously, that's not happening anymore because my uni sent me my documents late. However, honestly, we're just praying by the grace of God to leave before the 1st of September. Like, that is just what I want. I just wanna leave here by the 1st of September because I had to do 10 days quarantine and fresher starts on the 20th and i need to do shopping for my school things guys just pray for me well obviously by the time you're seeing this like i've probably already got to the uk so let's just manifest that i am getting there in time Not that bad but i feel like it's, it's also because i did like a like not fast track because you couldn't fast track that wasn't an option we wanted to because we don't really have time now instead i actually just did like a system where you can go in at whatever time and you don't have to like book an actual appointment so i went immediately today i just got ready and then went straight there i couldn't see my photo i mean to be honest i didn't ask to see because i was scared but I should have just asked to see my photo because honestly now I'm wondering like if this label was sticking out during my photo. I feel like I looked so scared in that photo because my eyes were like, my eyes were so wide. Because of the lights that came abruptly, 
for actually I don't know I don't know what the hell I asked y'all to manifest earlier but just manifesting that this thing comes quick that my photo looks good because I can't deal with ugly passport pictures no more like that's not the life I'm living so i have just gotten back home i was out but i just got a notification that my com is in my email so i'm about to go check what that is how it works with warwick is so how it works is that you have guaranteed on-campus accommodation for the first year because the idea is that by the second you know your bearings so you'll be able to get an accommodation off of campus the difference between the accommodations on campus is what they provide and the prices so you can choose on a scale from one to six most to least preferred you choose six accommodations my first choice was sherborne and then bluebell and then arthur vic i know my last was roots which is an accommodation that's stereotyped to be super fun but also super extremely dirty and gross so i don't want to be there a lot of people do not want to be there so like if i hear that I got roots, I will actually not be happy. The only reason it made it onto my six was because the rest are so far away from campus, people take Ubers to their lectures, which I'm not about that life. I've just been requested to send a verification code. Dun, 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 dun. Says your application has been successful and we have offered you a room within our accommodation. Please view the offer where you can accept or decline view offer. Ah. Ah. This is this is great. My name over there and that's my hall name. Hi guys, so uh, welcome back. I am actually doing dishes right now. As you can see, I've gotten my hair done. This is the back and this is the front, obviously. It took four hours to do uh, tonight. My cousins are coming over and we're going to cook. So this is like pretty much a last hangout for me and the cousins before I go. Aww. After this, I would just go to their houses and say goodbye to them on the day of my flight. Hi guys, so I'm back. It's okay, just wanna put on a flash. Hi guys, so I'm back. I don't know how this food is gonna look on video but i want you to know if this looks good there was a lot of stress that went into this the pasta wasn't cooking and i'm busy thinking how can i be messing up pasta like i feel like this is one of the most basic things i actually think it, it's looking good people are arriving in around 30 minutes i say people as if it's like a party it's not a party three cousins are coming over real hot girl shit and i'm thinking about sorting out drinks I wanted to cut the rosé and put pineapples in it because I feel like that's making it a bit more bougie but I don't know if I'm overdoing like what if it just is disgusting you're doing too much you know doing too much relax a bit 
Let me show you what's happening right now. This is some pasta sauce that I made. I feel like I should add, honestly, more tomatoes. I thought they were too much at first, and now they're just disappearing. So that's that. Here, ba -ba -da -bam -bam. there is some chicken. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. The steam. So here is some chicken. Oh my god. Guys. Am I Gordon Ramsay or what? Look at this. Gosh. At this rate, I'm no longer wife and material. You boys need to start sending in husband applications. Because in order to be my husband, I mean, I have standards. Look at this. Look at this food. Period. Period. Oh my God. And I didn't even show you guys. Look at this. Guys, this is honestly my favorite food. And I taste it already and it's lit. I just don't know what to say. I've outdone myself. However, I also feel like I haven't. This is just standard procedure. This just me. Oh, God, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Mmm, so good and tasty. <laughs> Hello guys, as you all can see, I have an entirely different hairstyle. I had to get everything done again. Yeah, don't even, I'll get into that tomorrow. So I'm honestly so tired. I went to get food, so I'm just having pasta and a shake, a Nutella shake. And then I need to go continue packing. Oh, I also got my nails done, but I need to go continue packing. I'm literally not sleeping tonight before I'm ready to go, because I don't need to be having that stress tomorrow. tomorrow. I need to go to the bank, I need to go do my brows, and I need to go get a wax. So like, I don't have time to be doing the packing.
Blind. <laughs>